All right, tonight we have the beautiful Claudine Gully on Serious and Silliness. Claudine is a bikini tattoo model and lingerie model. How are you doing, Claudine? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's a pleasure of having you on. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, of course. Are you kidding? So what basically caught my eye, and the reason why I wanted to have you on, is um, your age and how you look. <laughs> Uh, people would never believe how old you are. And it's, yes. do you, uh, and you know, most people would probably be embarrassed to say their age where uh, you wear it on your, wear it on your chest, like a badge of honor, because you're like, look how good I look. I do. I, yeah. I put it right. I put it right out there. <laughs> I put it right out there. All right. So you want to tell us how, uh, how old you are? I am 52. I just turned 52 in September. Uh, you're, you're 52 and you're literally modeling bikini, bikini modeling, tattoo modeling, lingerie modeling, and you have your own OnlyFans. I do. Oh, I do. So, so basically what I'm saying is you're 52 and you look like you're basically 28. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one all day long. Okay, good. And uh, we have something in common. We're both, uh, well, I think, well, we probably, we probably did the whole transition. Brooklyn, Staten Island, New Jersey. I was Staten Island, New Jersey. Oh, okay. I was Brooklyn, Staten Island, New Jersey. Okay. And where in Staten Island did you grow up? I grew up in New York. And then from New York, I went to Tottenville, Tottenville to um, uh, New Jersey. Yeah. And you went down like by the shore of an elephant or one of those fucking So spots. I was in, um, when I first came to New Jersey 12 years ago, it was in Marlboro. And now yeah. I'm down the shore area. Okay. Down Tom's River. Um, what year did you graduate uh, New York High School? 1988. Yeah, it was. Newdoke was a little different back then, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. yeah the, the high definitely. school was a little bit different. It was uh, more, I would say, probably more Italian and uh, and black. Is that yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Correct. 100%. And yes. there was probably a lot more racial issues. There, there was a lot of racial issues when I was in high school, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my brothers were in um, high school. They went to FDR in, in Bensonhurst. And by the time I went to high school, I had moved to Staten Island. But yeah, that's the way it was, you know. And, uh, you know, New Dorp has changed. Staten Island's kind of changing in general. Staten Island has changed uh, dramatically, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like Middle Eastern, a lot of Eastern European. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's just so, you know what it is too? It's just so overly populated. It's so yeah. crowded. Because I go back there to visit my some of my girlfriends and it's, it's actually a nightmare. Yeah, it's on. It's it's completely different from when we used to live there, but now I, the only thing is I'm in North Jersey and you're in I don't know the Shore area. Yeah, South Jersey. All right, so tell me how you got into bikini modeling, tattoo modeling, lingerie, OnlyFans. Tell me how you got into all that. So the um, the modeling, my mother when I was younger, she had me start out with. Um, I did a beauty pageant in Staten Island. Oh God. Yeah. So I was Miss Staten Island when I was like 12 or 13 years old. So she, <laughs> yeah, you know, I had the high hair going on and it was yeah, just, yeah. yeah. But she, she started me off. Um, and then as I got a little bit older, I um, was approached to just do some lingerie modeling. I did that. And then from there, I went to the tattoos and the, and uh, the bikini modeling. How many tattoos do you have? Oof, probably a, at least 50. Wow. Okay. I, I lost I lost count on the last two. Yeah, 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 yeah. You uh, you just went fuck it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have tats too, but not not fifty. What have- what the uh, tattoo um websites, uh, magazines? How does it work? So it's usually tattoo websites. Um, there's a few um uh magazines. One of them was is my friends uh, Donnie Trancini from uh, Staten Island. Mm-hmm. So I was in his. The um the OnlyFans I started about a year ago. Okay. And that was because um, a friend of mine just said to me, you know, you're putting up your pictures for everybody to see and you're not getting paid for it. Why don't you open an OnlyFans account? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll think about it. And then that, I just, I started it from there and it, it yeah. did pretty well. Yeah. Little do they know, like people think that, uh, you know, they make a ton of money, but OnlyFans takes 20%. They do. They, yes. take, they take 20% and then taxes come right out. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, so not, it's like, not as much as everybody thinks. You're no, getting. it really isn't. It, I had exactly. another. I had another girl on. She goes by Sapphire Summers, and she is in the top five percent of OnlyFans earners, and she is just breaking six figures in the top five percent. 
Wow. So yeah. all, all this crap that you hear about girls making a half a million dollars a month, it's all bullshit. <laughs> you know, the, the, the famous people, right. the, they, you know, like they do, I, yeah. I know Black China is on there. There's quite a few of them up there. Um, there's a couple of uh, the big top models. I mean, those I can see. Right. But yeah. Yeah. The regular people is just not. The, I mean, listen, it's a it's a if it, it's a great way. If you are if you are a bikini model already or a tattoo model, lingerie model, then it's worth it. It is. It's you know, it's some extra money. Um, it, it's a, it's not that hard to uh, put so, that much time into it. Do so. it on your phone. It's, it's exactly. Not, yeah. Upload a couple of pictures. And That's videos. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the only thing is it's a slippery slope, you know, um, and it's up to the content creator to figure out how far they want to go on OnlyFans. Right. Correct. So, so that's my next question. How far do you take it on OnlyFans? Um, I don't do anything that has to do with like uh, sex videos or porn okay. or anything like that. So it's basically just modeling pics, modeling pics, it's modeling videos, modeling pics, modeling videos. You'll you'll get a little bit more skin on there. Okay. You'll see a little a little bit more on there than you'll see on um, Facebook uh, and Instagram. You might see a nip slip or something like that. You might see like just, you know, my hand go like this or something. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your OnlyFans so everybody knows? It's uh, Sexy Dini. All right. Let me see. If... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I changed it. It's Sexy Danielle. Sexy Danielle. Yes. And that is uh, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E. -E -E, correct. Okay. Sexy Danielle. So I'm going to make sure that that is in your um, description when people see this. Okay. Uh, Sexy Danielle. And I'm also going to put your Instagram in there so people could reach you if there is any modeling people or agencies or whatnot. Uh, you know, I already know your Instagram. That's how I found it. And we're going to make sure that that is in the description for you and so on and so forth. So what were you? Oh, cause you're very thin, but you're also very fit. What do you do to stay in such good shape at, at, at your age? Okay. So I'm going to say this and you're not going to believe me because nobody actually does. I already so know you are. I, I, I've never, worked out a day in my life that is the god's honest truth on everything inside me i've never walked into a gym ever wow i i do a lot of walking and i i clean my house a lot so <laughs> i, I yeah, that I, you know, i'm being serious yeah i do not watch what i eat i was out tonight i ate pizza and i had um ice cream and uh, uh cheesecake and two <laughs> glasses of uh two glasses of wine i don't watch what i eat now do you know how many enemies you just made <laughs> probably a few. You're probably a few. Uh, you know what it is i get a lot of women that'll inbox me and like oh my god you're in such good shape your age what do you do and, okay. and I'm, i feel bad saying it i'm like i really don't work out and that's the god honest truth oh uh, you don't work out but the other question i'm gonna ask you is constructive surgery how much constructive surgery have you had so i've had my chest done okay and once I, um, one time i've had my chest done twice okay 2017 was the last time i did them okay and that's it no, and I've had my um, I've had lip injections. I just did my lips about a month ago. That's the only two things you've done: your boobs and your That's lips. Boobs and lips. I've never had a tummy tuck. No butt. Nothing. No, none of so that. You're, you're just you're just you're just a genetic freak. I had a girl. Yeah. On. You are. It's I, funny. That, I, that's what my wife calls me a genetic I'm, freak. Yeah, I had a girl on, and uh, I could send this to you. Uh, her, her name? What the hell was her name? Oh God, I don't remember. This was like about a year ago. And she was from, she's from Amsterdam. Okay. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, her body is very similar to yours. And I'm not exaggerating. Okay. okay? She, and we went over all her plastic surgery and we estimated that she spent around $72,000 in plastic surgery. And her body is very, very similar to yours. Very thin, just like yours. The big boobs, so on and so forth. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like 38 or 39. So you are just you're just fucking blessed, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know. Probably for maybe another year or two, and then it's probably all downhill after. Yeah, that. yeah, that's it. You might jump off a cliff after that. It's over. Then I probably need the gym or a lot of uh, you know plastic yeah. surgery. No, you're I'm just, hoping not. I'm hoping not. I don't think so because you say like from what I've seen, you're very thin, you're very tight. You, you know, you have uh, some muscle. So it's so it's great Italian genes apparently. Italian and French. Oh, really? Well, who was French on your side of the family? Uh, my dad was French. Really? Yeah. Okay. And how did uh, and the, your parents were from Brooklyn or they grew up in Staten Island? Uh, my dad grew up in um, Rosebank and my mom was in New York. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're a real Staten Island. Real Staten Island. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, 
Where else can people find you? So besides, uh, I am OnlyFans on Facebook. Name? Okay, and, you're on Facebook. Okay, good. And I have a um, a modeling page on Facebook. Okay, so Facebook, and what is the modeling page called? It's um, oh, I think it's just my name, Claudine Gala. Yeah, it's Claudine. Okay, Gala. I'll find it, and I'll make sure that the link is in the yeah. uh, description. Uh, so anybody could find you. So what is your next gig? Are you, are you just concentrating on your OnlyFans? Are you doing any more bikini layouts, tattoo layouts? So I am supposed to be doing a music video at the end of October. I am also um, supposed to be doing a meet and greet um, and another photo shoot. Um, I just got back from Italy, so I, I'm, I'm working on all that. I ended up hurting my, my leg in Italy, so I'm recouping from that. How would you do that? On the plane, I went to get into the aisle and I heard a pop and that was that. So I tore either the ligament or the meniscus. <laughs> so, so did every guy on the plane try to help you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty, they were all sleeping on the plane. Yeah. I was just sitting there like, oh my God. So when yeah. we landed in Venice, I kind of hobbled around a little bit. And yeah. then that night I ended up in the hospital. I could barely walk on it. So. <laughs> all right. Well, as long as, as long as you're doing all right, how did you get up? How did you wind up? moving around in Italy then uh, they after hours of trying to communicate with them because I didn't speak any English uh, uh, Italian, Italian they didn't yeah. speak the English they gave me a leg brace um, you know like a very big leg brace so I was able to hobble around on that oh okay that's good uh, yeah. very nice yeah you got to bring a translator with you next time definitely Italy I, was absolutely stunning I could imagine I've never been there but I plan on going there you know um, I have cousins and whatnot you know my my father is from Sicily my mother's side is Galabres and uh, uh, one day I plan on going there I just haven't gotten past the oh let's do a cruise you know but the wife is always like let's do a cruise the wife is always like let's go to Las Vegas again and then I just go oh, okay that sounds good <laughs> I used to you know well my fiance that I was with he um, he had family in Sorrento. So he spoke a little bit of the Italian. So he was able to help us, you know, through the whole. Yeah. 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 It helps thing. a lot. I used to take the cruises all the time because I didn't fly for a while. After oh, okay. the 9-11, I, I had a lot of anxiety. So I didn't fly. I started flying again in 2017. Oh, OK. All right. Well, at least you got over it. So yeah, you, got- you're engaged. Any, uh, any plans to get uh, married or is it just an engagement <laughs> forever kind of thing? No, we're going to get married next um, November. Oh, okay. Because I know guys that do that. I know couples that do that. They get they give them the engagement ring, and I I refer to it as the shut the fuck up ring. <laughs> that's how I, that's what I refer to it as. I have one good friend that has been engaged since I know him for like eight years, and I'm like, okay. and I, I you know I have a girlfriend <laughs> like that. She's been engaged for two years already, and there's yeah. no wedding plans or no nothing. They're happy yeah. just being engaged and living together. They're okay with that. Yeah, that's yeah. It's called the shut the fuck up ring. That that mm-hmm. that's so that just in case things don't work out, you take your shit, I take my shit, and we leave. <laughs> and you hit the road, Jack. That's it. 100%. How many times were you ever married before? I was. I was married twice. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. um, I was married twice. Children were one, both? Once children? with my children's father, who is an amazing dad. We're best friends. That's good. Um, we're, we're very good friends. And we were together for about 18 years. Mm-hmm. And then I got remarried again. Right, so since you're a tattoo model, why don't you show us some of your favorite tattoos? Obviously, they can't be that big because you have a phone. <laughs> yeah. So my sleeve is one of my favorite because it's all my dad. Okay. It's tribute to my dad. When did you uh, dad? I have one like that too for my dad. Yeah, my dad passed away when I was younger. Okay. Um, I have quite a few on my stomach. Okay. My ribs. Any anything have significant meaning besides your dad one? Um, my children are on there. My okay. dad's on there. Mm-hmm. Um. I have a lot of sayings on me. Um, I used to suffer from really bad anxiety and panic attacks. Okay. So I have a lot that say certain things that mean, mean certain things to me. Okay. All right, cool. So, and your mom is still alive, obviously. My mom's still alive. She just turned 74. Wow. Okay. My mother's 87. Wow. God bless. Yeah, I know. We know my age. How old are you? 46. 46. Well, you're young. Yep. I, not really. <laughs> not really. It's, yeah. it's downhill after 50. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm trying to make it uphill. I don't know. It's not working though. Um, okay. So you are on OnlyFans, Instagram, Facebook. You have a meet and greet. Where is the meet and greet going to be? 
But that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, we don't we don't know yet. It'll be in New Jersey. We're trying to figure out where um, and how how they're going to run it. And what kind of a meet and greet is it for? What establishment or promoting what? Um, they're actually promoting me. So. <laughs> oh, OK, OK. Now, for, who, for, for all the, for all the guys that always um, inbox me, they want to meet me and they want to send me tickets to fly this place and that place. I know it. I know, you it. know, and they send all of these crazy things. So um, we're going to just let them allow them to come and meet me, you know, spend some time with me, have a drink, you know, sign, sign it, sign something, take a picture. Uh, very cool. Very cool. All yeah. right, very nice. All right. I'm going to ask you one more personal question, and I'm assuming that is your fiance next to you. It is. Okay, but it's okay because it's nothing that perverted. You had your boobs done twice. How big did you go the first time? How big did you go the second time? So I had um, very cute little bees before I had my children. And then I went from bees to um, a very large D. Mm -hmm. And then from the large D, I went to the G. Yes, that's thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you i did a bodybuilding panel last night with me and uh four other professional bodybuilders and i was only the bo i was the only boob guy and i go how is this i go how is this possible they're like oh no we like legs and ass i'm like okay i don't how is that possible i don't understand it's not like i don't know on on facebook and instagram it's definitely not it's most of the time it's my boobs so yeah obviously yeah i mean yeah. it's just I, and i know i'm not the only one because the the, the instagram models like you have like like hundreds of thousands of followers, you know? So right. it's, I don't know how it works, but all right. I am going to let you go. It was a uh, short and sweet, but this is what I wanted to give you. And I wanted to promote you. And I wanted, to have you. You, I wanted to have you on because you're from Staten Island and you're very attractive. So I know I'm going to get, a lot, I know I'm going to get a lot of views. You're, you're a very nice person. You're a sweetheart, but I'm going to ask you to do me one favor. Absolutely. What's up? I am running um, the fab 40 contest. Fab 40. Okay. Fab over fab over 40 contest. Fab over 40. Okay. Go ahead. They can find the link on my Instagram or Facebook. You're okay. allowed to vote one vote a day. The voting uh -huh. ends next Thursday. And currently in my group, I am hanging in there in first place. Okay, cool. So I am definitely going to make sure that Facebook and Instagram is in the description. So I can hit that link for fab over 40 and everybody goes and votes for Claudine Gully. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything. You're very welcome. And I appreciate you coming on. It was a pleasure. Take care. You'll come on again. Don't worry. Absolutely. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.